Trump tweets of Operation Alice in Wonderland. Thursday, November 16, 2017. President Trump tweets, The time is upon us. Operation Alice in Wonderland is about to start clearly the president wishes to alert the people to some subterfuge about to take place. The tweet was swiftly removed around 15 minutes later. Whenever there was panic in Central City today, righteousness declines. Streets and topping the news today, too. and unrighteousness increases. I make myself a body. In every age, I come back. deliver the holy <laughs> to destroy the sin of the sinner <laughs> to establish
the four island continents which surround Mount Maru were incorporated into Jain, Buddhist, and Vedic cosmology. This land is known as Shambhala. It's commonly mistaken that the southern continent, Jambudvipa, is the world we live in now, but this is absolutely false. We do not live on the southern continent because we do not live in this four continent system. The ancient texts were describing the land in which humanity originally came from, the hidden North Polar Land, which is located in the depression beyond a giant crater at the center of our flat plain. It's been described as the Valley of Gods and Heroes. The four continents in this system are Purva Vidha, Jambudvipa, Aparagodania, and Uttarakuru. Purva Vidha is the eastern island. The principal attribute of this continent is its jewel mountain made of diamonds, lapis lazuli, sapphires, emeralds, gold, silver, and crystal. The beings who live there are twice as tall as us and have semicircular faces. They are peaceful and they enjoy long, pleasurable lives up to 250 years. Jambudvipa, in English translated as Rose Apple Continent, is the southern island. It contains diamond walls and lotus terraces with wonderful forests and ponds. The borders are encased with gold and there are gates to Jambudvipa protected by the gods. It's said that all Buddhas appear in Jambudvipa. The people here are five to six feet tall and their length of life varies between 10 years to 80,000 years. The beings there, many of them human, feed on the fruits of the wish-fulfilling tree. Paragodonia is the western island. Here, the inhabitants are said not to live in houses, but sleep on the ground. They are 24 feet tall and live for 500 years. There aren't many descriptions of a Paragodonia, but it's considered a peaceful place where in ancient times, monks would go to complete their Buddhist training. It is full of the wish-fulfilling cows. Uttarakuru is the northern island. The inhabitants of Uttarakuru are said to be extraordinarily wealthy. They do not need to labor for a living, and their food grows by itself. They have no private property, and they have cities built in the air. From the 15th to 17th centuries, this four-continent system at the Arctic was included in many European and Asian maps. The same circular shape with four rivers or bodies of water dividing it was seen over and over again. However, around the late 1600s, this land was suddenly removed from maps along with parts of Canada and Greenland, like a bad Photoshop job of the time. Interestingly, this is the same time when the false heliocentric globe model was being heavily pushed on the west. It's apparent that Eden was deleted on purpose. Upon losing any trace of our Arctic paradise, the energy extraction matrix was able to grip even tighter and go in full gear. As so many authors have referenced, the Arctic is our birthplace, our rightful spiritual home. Those who have risen above the frequencies of these outer lands have decided that Eden the center of our plane, illuminated by the black sun, is our next destination in our ascensional process. Hi, my name is Martin. In this part of the video, I'll be explaining exactly what we think the Earth is. In particular, I'll be focusing on the North Pole. To help me do this, I'll be using a model that we made based on our extensive research. Right, and that's Earth, obviously, Africa and Europe and Asia, Russia, this is uh, Greenland, this is the UK, South America, North America, that's Canada, that's Alaska, and that's Australia, and these are the Pacific Islands. Okay, obviously this is uh, not to scale or anything, it's just a, a rough depiction, but I'm sure you get the picture. Right, the North Pole is at the center. This is the Arctic North Pole. This is what we think it looks like. 
from the top if you look at all the um, NASA aerial footage always looks like it's a there's a big swirling cloud over the Arctic North Pole with a hole in the cloud in the middle of the cloud there's a hole okay and we're told underneath this cloud is just a big giant sheet of ice that's barren with nothing on it that's what we're told okay if we're to look at ancient texts and accounts there is a mountain range that encircles this Arctic region okay the Vedics um, call it the mountain range that circles Shambhala like a lotus flower okay we believe that underneath this cloud there are lands there is a continent a crater continent okay it's more like a depression or a valley okay there it is this is what most people refer to as Eden the Garden of Eden or Shambhala Hyperborea Gartha this is it four islands with a magnetic mountain in the middle known as commonly known as Mount Maru the Greeks called it Mount Olympus at the center of the earth that's Mount Maru and the four rivers dividing the crater continent of Eden okay right so according to mythology there is another Sun within this depression within this crater continent commonly known as the black Sun of intent or occultists call it Lucifer right this is the other half of the white Sun that is that revolves around in our realm okay the white Sun above our heads goes round the earth that way day and night day and night day and night the black Sun of intent revolves around Mount Maru in smaller evolutions it's almost like a clock okay so it has a clock our white Sun is like the uh, second hand and the black Sun of intent is like the minute hand right it revolves much slower smaller evolutions okay right so if you put the cloud back on there the black Sun of intent will be underneath this cloud revolving around Mount Maru this cloud that's sitting on top of this crater continent or this depression and this black Sun of intent is what creates the Aurora Borealis the Aurora Borealis are rays being emitted by the black Sun of intent in the Garden of Eden and this Aurora Borealis seeps out from the edge of this cloud which is why because Greenland is so close and touches this crater continent this is why the best Aurora Borealis is always seen from Greenland this is where you get the best views or the clearest views of the Aurora Borealis from Greenland and sometimes from Scandinavia because Scandinavia is also quite close to um, this island okay there are also a couple of islands I believe somewhere in between particularly in Russia yeah just on the edge there okay so going back into this magical place the valley of gods and heroes as the Greeks called it Okay, the Japanese called it the congealed drop 
This is Hyperborea, Shambhala, Eden. This is the four continent world at the center with the four rivers dividing the four islands that Devon was talking about earlier on. And at the center, we have Mount Maru. It's a big, big mountain. They say it's 33 miles, I think, in circumference. That's Mount Maru, right in the middle. That is what used to be the tree of life during the Golden Age. And as we know, all mountains used to be trees. Okay? This is Greenland. Greenland is the only part of this outside world that touches Eden. Okay, so this is the southern island of Jambu Dwipa. This is the island that the Vedics refer to as the island inhabited by humans. So, it is said that only those pure of heart and brave enough can find this place, this magical place hidden underneath this cloud deep within these mountains, this mountain range. It is not an easy place to find. The military don't have to guard it. Um, they're not even allowed to guard it. This place protects itself. If you're not meant to make it there, you will not find it, you will not make it. You, you have to be allowed, you have to be led in by your heart and by your intent. Okay, so we're not naive about this. The North Seal Project the five of us are putting a lot of um, work behind the scenes. It's not just research, research. We are spiritually trying to evolve as much as we can, raise our vibration. Uh, we're all vegans now. Okay. We're trying to align ourselves with truth and with love, which is why we're sharing all this information with you. We're not doing anything in secret. We're telling you exactly, or we're telling the world exactly what we're doing and why we're doing it and um, and we've got the permission of the universe we've got the universe behind us we have no fear whatsoever we're not afraid we're excited we're returning to the Garden of Eden we will find this place because we're being called back but this is not about us it's not about us saving ourselves and, and leaving everyone no not at all this is about paving the way, finding a way into Eden, okay? And once we've paved the way and we've found the route in, we'll go in, do whatever we need to do, come back out and collect everyone else who feels called to return to paradise, to return here, this magical world. Now, even though this place is on Earth, it's a continent, a crater continent here on Earth, the Holy Grail, okay? It is not at the same density as these outside worlds, at all. There's a higher vibrational frequency within Eden because of the black sun, okay? So you almost, um, you go into a different etheric plane. So even though you're on Earth, and you're still in 3D, um, it's, 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 it's different, it's not the same, okay, it's magical. We can't say exactly what it is, there's loads of descriptions um, about, about this place, but until we get there, we will not know exactly um, what those changes are, what that difference is between um, Eden and this outside part of Earth. Okay, but according to our research, right, this is where it all began. This is the most purest of the purest places within our realm, and it gets denser and denser the further out you come. Okay, 
further up. We don't know how far that, that goes. And the further away you are from the center, from where it began, the denser it becomes, the more demonic it becomes. And the closer you get to the center, the closer you get to Mount Maru, the cosmic tree of life, the Axis Mundi. Yeah? The more pure it is. Yeah, the higher the vibration. This is why it's called heaven on earth. Heaven is on earth. It's here at the North Pole. Hidden beyond these mountains, underneath that swirling cloud. With a black. So much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned and we'll see you back next time.